Hello, hola, bueno. This is Aaron with Anna Computers from AnnaComputers.com with another possible potential fix for your most common computer problems. This one deals with scanning problems, more specifically, succinctly, with an HP product. Troubleshooting tips for HP scanners. I filed this under PC hardware installation, scanning problems, etc. After physically connecting your HP scanner and installing some software, your computer recognizes that scanner in Device Manager, but an HP software fails to connect to that scanner. Try installing that hardware first before installing that HP scan software. You can try unplugging that device from a USB port, then uninstalling that software from Atom Remove Programs and Control Panel. Now here is a caveat mTOR. Some scanning devices, some printers, some all-in-one devices that are a printer, scanner, and fax machine all-in-one, hence that term, they don't always have the exact same installation scenario. Some devices in their installation guide, so that's a good thing if you are, think you just bought a brand new scanner from HP, go through the setup guide or installation guide or a quick setup guide. Look, read through it. It will tell you whether or not you have to hook up that device first or not. Some devices you hook up first, then install drivers, then install software, but not all of them. Actually, a lot of devices I've noticed it's reverse, but it just depends on the model number. That's why you want to go through your quick start guide or setup guide. If you don't have one, you can go out on the internet and look for one. But you would need your exact model number. Let's say you have an HP ScanJet 7640C. You Google that. You Google HP ScanJet 7460C installation guide or setup guide or a quick start guide, whatever. Then, so that's very important. So find out what kind of device you have and then find out whether or not you hook up your device first. It's very important because if you don't do it in the proper procedure, your scanning device is not going to work. Some scanners, they, they even in the quick setup guide or the installation guide or setup guide, they specifically tell you, insert your HP installation CD, start the installation process some a lot of times it'll start installing software and then it'll start installing drivers then it will ask you to hook up your device so that's a very important caveat at least i think it is and then so this person might have had a device that required them not to hook up their scanning device and then start installing software and start ins installing drivers. So there's there's a certain procedure when installing scanners, printers, and all-in-ones. After that software and device is unplugged, go to control panel again and this time select device manager. Once in device manager, highlight and right click to delete that scanner from device manager. Plug in that scanner via USB and Windows should detect that scanner again. So let's say you hooked up your scanner, installed the software, etc., and it doesn't work. Hello? All right, so, well, I apologize for that interruption, but I was going to just restart this video, but I'll just, it was a telemarketing call. Or, don't you hate those robot calls? I get a lot of stupid ass robot calls, which I think they're technically illegal, I think, if, if it's a telemarketing call. I have a business, but, you know whether or not my phone number is technically a business phone number. I use it for business, but anyways, I don't want to talk about that. Maybe that's a different video, YouTube video. So let me return. So you hooked up your scanner, you installed drivers, you installed software, it no bueno, muy mal, no good. It just doesn't work. Re Unplug that scanner from the USB port, 
Go into Add and Remove Programs in Windows XP or Programs and Features in Vista 7 or 8 and uninstall that software, uninstall any drivers. Then go into Device Manager, Vista XP 7, 8 and delete that device. Then, then do it properly, which whatever is proper for that for your device. Hopefully you know that now after you looked into it. If you have a scanner that requires you to hook it up first and then it will prompt you to insert your installation CD so that it can install drivers, these procedures are for you right now. So you've deleted it out of device manager, you've unplugged it, you've removed device drivers, you've removed software, follow the rest of these instructions, which is to plug back in that scanner VSUSB and Windows should detect that scanner again. So now you'll see a prompt. It should prompt you for a driver CD. Insert that CD-ROM and then select a CD-ROM checkbox. Click on next and those drivers will install. Hopefully you have your drivers and software installation CD for your HP product. If you don't have one, it will make things a little bit more difficult. But what you can do is you can f search for your specific model number on the internet. Like again, a quick example is HP ScanJet 7640C, which I don't even know if that model exists. I think there are 7600 series or 7000 series, but you know, I don't know. I just kind of <laughs> made that up for as an example. And then HP ScanJet 7460C drivers or setup and then hopefully you can find it on HP's website then you have to download that software and then instead of in instead of browsing your CD you would browse the folder where those drivers are at so it makes a little bit more complicated and complex That HP scanning software installation should begin after those drivers are installed. Go ahead and install that HP scanning software. Hopefully that scanner will work this time. So as you can see when they hooked it up to their computer, Windows automatically was looking for drivers. It didn't find any on Windows updates or on the hard drive. So it was like, where are they? So. Then once the drivers were successfully installed, then you can go ahead and install the HP scanning software. Hopefully that scanner will work this time. Now that's for a scanner that it allows you to hook it up first, but not a lot of devices from HP and other manufacturers. They require you to install drivers and software first. They will bundle their devices with a software CD or DVD and then it tells you in their quick start guide or in their installation manual or setup guide, it'll tell you, sometimes it's even in bold, do not connect your device first. Run the setup utility off the CD, it'll start in installing some software, then it will inst finally start installing drivers. Usually after it installs drivers, then it will prompt you to hook up your device so that it can test it and it can talk to it during that installation process. So one other thing before I leave is that we will go out to HP, but I'm not going to go over installation instructions for a specific model, but I'll just, and then I will leave a link to this URL in a description of this YouTube video so that you can browse to my website, anetcomputers.com and quickly find these possible tips and, or at least find this link to HP. So when we go out to HP, it wants you to select a product. I've already pre-filled this. This is more of a direct link. Now select a category. I've already selected a category and I selected scanners. Scanners, copiers, faxes. So you don't have to select a category. On the left hand side, you're going to see scanners, copiers, faxes. So it depends on what device. Maybe you have a copier or a fax or whatever. If you have one of those devices, choose an appropriate subcategory. So we're going to just pick scanners for now. And then 
on the left hand side it wants more information maybe you have a compact an older compact scanner or a HP network scan jet scanner some scanners are networkable now HP photo or HP photo smart photo scanner or HP scanjet scanner HP e scanner a lot of times I work or help people out with a HP scanjet that's a pretty popular type so click on that if 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 you do have a HP scanjet scanner you have to pull, pick which device you have then as you can see it's got a list of models but not specific models but model series so again I think I used an HP 7460 but I don't think that even exists but I was kind of close <laughs> we'll we'll choose this one HP scanjet 7500 flatbed scanner series and then it asks you which exact one we'll pick the top and then it so then you you'll be taken where there's hopefully more information there will be drivers maybe you don't have drivers so you can download them manuals maybe you don't have a manual it's got a, this is a very crucial guide either it depends on which device but how about this one setup and installation guide if you don't have one it's 2.71 megs I, I will open it up but I'm not gonna go through it I just want to kind of show you the process of hopefully helping you download drivers or find an installation guide or whatever for your device if you're having problems installing it correctly so this will be a PDF it'll take a few seconds probably but to download or I don't know there sometimes HP's website just kind of I don't know flakes out or I don't know what's doing maybe they have a really popular website maybe it'll never download I don't know let's yeah there it goes now it's gonna finally download and it did okay so it opened up in my default PDF file this is a very important document if you bought a brand new scanner at Best Buy or Walmart or where again I don't get paid for any of my videos so I don't have a problem talking about manufacturers or stores I don't get paid by any of them so I you know it's free speech so is that you should have a installation guide or setup guide or quick start guide that comes with your device if you don't have one maybe you bought it secondhand or it's used or a friend gave it to you for free or whatever however you acquired the scanner it's, it, it can help you a lot because again not all devices are the same some have different setup procedures some you hook up your scanner first then Windows detects it then it went, wants to know where the location is for the drivers you give its location it downloads drivers the device will work it'll it'll it will but then what about scanning software you can get free scanning software but a lot of times scanners come with free software and so then you can install that software off the CD. Some devices are different, are almost like vice versa. Some devices, you have to insert the installation CD, start the setup, it'll start installing a little bit of software, then it will start installing drivers, then it will prompt you to hook up your scanner, then it will test the scanner so that it makes sure it works with the drivers, blah, blah, blah. Then it will continue on installing software and with some of the newer devices it can take a while to install software because they're pretty quite large actually but that's possibly a different video but so it just depends on your model number your maker etc so we'll, I'm just gonna show you the installation guide they can be very useful I'm not gonna you know blah 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 okay this one this one tells you right here this is why I wanted to bring up that point to me that's the most important point when installing a scanner a printer a fax machine or even all-in-ones because they're not all the same this one tells you right here connect the USB cable when the software installation process tells you we will scroll up And it even tells you more than once. 
And notice how they cautioned you and put it in bold. It says, install the software. Caution. Do not connect the USB cable until the software installation process says you may do so. And they even have a, <laughs> they even have this mark. The void, the X or the one, you know, don't do it. Don't do it. Absolutely not. And then they have another graphic where they, yes, yes, insert the CD, but don't, don't do it. Don't you dare. Don't you even think about it. Do not hook up your scanner to its USB port yet. But that's very important because what can happen is people, they neglect to read their quick start guide or setup guide. I'm not saying you have to read the entire manual. Some of these manuals are quite lengthy. We're talking, this one's only eight pages, but some are hundreds of pages. I mean, they get, and then it depends on which guide. I would look through your quick start guide first. It might tell you in your quick start guide. It might just warn you. It, it probably will not or it might not tell you the exact installation instructions, but at least it'll warn you. Then look for your setup or installation guide. And most guides that I've noticed, they, they do tell you. They t tell you the proper procedure. And that can save you a lot of time because what happens is a lot of people, they don't read their setup guides. They don't read the quick start guides. They're like, oh, this is easy. This is, I know what I'm doing. I'm not being condescending or I'm not, you know, insulting people. I'm just saying if you're not familiar with uh, computer products, they're not all the same. They they get the scanner, they hook it up, they fire up their computer, and then they wonder why it doesn't work or they were prompted but they didn't do it correctly or, you know, because there's a procedure and each device can be different. And that can save you a lot of time cuz they'll then they think that they bought a bad, crappy scanner when it wasn't a hardware issue. It's just one of those. It's not streamlined. It's not, it's not universal with products, scanners, copiers, faxes, on ones. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, they have different procedures. So you can save a lot of time and then you don't, you, you know, don't throw away, <laughs> don't throw away that. And same thing with the U scanner. It might not be the hardware. There's just a specific proper pr procedure, specific steps you have to go through to get the drivers installed, get the software installed, so that the scanner and software talk to each other via the drivers. So hopefully these tips and hopefully this video at least helps you get your scanner or printer or all-in-one device installed. And then hopefully, hopefully, if you never knew it before, it will at least help you go out on the internet and look for the specific setup guide or quick start guide or manual that you don't have. So that way you don't waste a lot of time. Trust me, you can waste a lot of time if you don't install your scanner or all-in-one or fax, copier, etc. in the proper order. And you can waste a lot of time. <laughs> and whereas if you just follow the instructions, follow the quick start guide or the setup guide or the installation manual verbatim, bam, you might be scanning in half an hour or, you know, it depends on it, however long it takes for the software and drivers to get loaded. Anyways, you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for more possible potential fixes for your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.